there's been some improvements in phase eight, including the addition of some spinners in Solstice Park, a new trail near the tunnel, as well as some mural art in the tunnel itself. Don Beto's and Elements Massage have opened. Falls Local, Parkside, and the other tenants are busy working on their interior build-outs. Parkside and Falls Local appear to be very close, and we may see some opening dates in the next few weeks. The splash pad is now also operational, and the new Tree Light Square street art mural has been added. The developer also mentioned this middle connector area may sometimes be used for street festivals and vendor fairs. According to the latest site plan, there's just one spot up for grabs in the original two-phase section. Plans originally called for an office building for the third phase of Treelight Square, but that has shifted to more restaurant and retail space along with a medical building. Leasing has started for this new building, but according to the latest I've seen, um, nobody has agreed to terms yet. Construction on the new set should start soon. As for the tree light square out parcels, all are either under contract or under letter of intent, except for parcel 10. Parcel 18 will be 55 plus age targeted apartments. McDonald's is well underway on parcel 19. I bet they'll be open before Bojangles. Parcel 20 will be fifth third bank. Outside of that, nothing has been rumored or confirmed for parcels 27, 28, and 11. Starbucks and Jersey Mike's are open and Wingstop will be not far behind. There's also a new trail loop going behind the fire station, uh, which will connect to phase nine. Wake Med is coming along quickly and is nearing completion. There's still no movement on the Lifestyle District, which is supposed to be a large mixed-use development, uh, similar to Tree Light Square, but on a much larger scale. Um, conceptual plans included hotel, movie theater, all kinds of grocery, restaurants, but again, this was just conceptual and there's no timeline on that. Beyond that is the Collective off Office District, which if I had to put money on it, I don't think will ever actually happen Companies just aren't building campuses like that anymore. I think eventually this will change to more housing or more retail. There's also a lot of surrounding parcels for sale right now. They haven't seen much movement. They're, most of them are very overpriced, but eventually we'll see some of this unaffiliated land start to develop as well. Phases 10 and 11 are coming along strong. Uh, dozens of houses are now underway. The pool is nearing completion. It's looking very nice, uh, but it's important to note that it is two miles away. There's no connections between like phase eight and nine and phase 10 and 11. Uh, you have to go on the parkway, which means you cannot bring golf carts over there. You have to walk, bike, or drive. And it's uh, again, two miles away. So not really of much use for anybody on this side. Um, it's basically, it's for the new side. There is gonna be about 500 houses back there. Further toward Nightdale Eagle Rock Road and even beyond Nightdale Eagle Rock, there will be more residential development in the coming years. This will also be our connection point to the Wendell Commerce Center, which will eventually connect Wendell Valley Boulevard over to the Wake Tech area in the Sheets and that whole interchange. So there'll be one cohesive road all the way from Wendell Falls Parkway up to Roseville Road. Warren Creek development has started, which will actually link the two sides of Phase 9. 
Uh, phase nine is actually nearing completion now. At the corner of Wendell Falls Parkway and Martin Pond Road, the Noose River Vet is now open. The phase of apartments and townhomes is underway and they're complete in framing. And also there are three other parcels that have been graded and they're available for purchase and lease. There's been no word on what businesses may be moving into those out parcels. Adjacent to, but not directly affiliated with Wendell Falls is the Richardson Farms development. It will be a 550 unit townhome and apartment complex and it will also include a pretty generous commercial component. Across the street from that will be a pretty similar development. We haven't seen plans yet, but they're going through the rezoning process as we speak. Um, it's great to see the, the area become more cohesive that will only bring more opportunities for commercial walkability, bikeability, and all the great things that urbanism brings. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to know next.